Today we shall learn how to measure large distances using parallax method. Small distances or small length, like length of this marker, you can easily find out using a scale, using a meter scale. Similarly, it is not a challenge to find distance between Delhi and Jaipur. Now the problem or the big challenge comes when we have to find a very, very small distances or small measurement, small length, like what is the radius of an atom or if you have to find the very large distances like the distance between earth and sun, earth and moon, what is diameter of sun, what is diameter of earth and so on. Today specifically in this lecture we are interested in finding the large distances using the parallax method. Now before going to what is this parallax method, how do we use it, there are few things which should be very clear. The few concepts they should be very clear. The very first concept is that of radian. You are very well aware of that is length can be measured. You can measure length in terms of meter, in terms of kilometer, in terms of centimeter and so on. Now, how do you measure a plane angle? How do you measure an angle? This angle, you have only two options to measure an angle. This angle, you have only two options to measure it. You can measure this angle, one in degrees and second is in radian. You know, if one circle is completed, this is 360 degrees. And if I take a line over here, then this angle is 180 degree and this whole thing is 360 degree once again, you know it. This is x, this is y, you know each angle is 90 degree, 90, 90, 180, 270, 360 degree. Now what is radian? Now let's understand what is radian. Now one radian is defined as, suppose I take a circle of radius r, this is r, this is r and if the length of this arc, that is also equal to radius of circle, then the angle subtended by this arc of length equal to radius of circle, then this angle will be called as one radian. This angle is one radian. When this is one radian? When the length of arc is equal to one radius only. If I take this length as two r, that is double the length of the radius, the angle subtended over here at the center will be 2 radian. If I take this length as 3 r, this length is suppose 3 times that of radius, then this angle is called 3 radian, this angle will be 3 radian. So for the ease of understanding, I say if the length of this arc is 1 r, the length of arc, I write over here that is length of arc, is length of arc and over here I write as angle in radian. If length of arc is 1 r, this is 1 radian. If this is, if this length is 2 r, this is 2 radian. If this is 3 r, this is 3 radian. In this whole circle, how many r's are there? You know the circumference is 2 pi r circumference of the circle, you know that is 2 pi r. So, if the length is 2 pi r, so it is 2 pi radian. If it is 1 r, drop r. 1, 1 radian. 2 r, simply 2 radian. 3 r, 3 radian. 2 pi into r, how many radians? 2 pi radian. Is okay? So, in one circle, when the one circle is completed, so this angle in radian is going to be 2 pi radian. You know, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Similarly, you can move always from kilometer to millimeter to centimeter, all the conversions you can easily make. Similarly, over here, if I call this as angle 2 pi radian, but this angle is also 360 degree. Now, how you can measure the angle? You can measure this plane angle in two terms. One is in degrees, the second is in radian. Now, we are interested in establishing a relationship between degrees and radian. Suppose 1 degree is equal to how many radian or 1 radian is equal to how many degrees? We are interested in that. As the, the units of length, we can always interchange. We can always jump from millimeter to centimeter, centimeter to kilometer because all these units, they are unit of length. 
Now, what is the unit of angle? Unit of angle, unit of plane angle could be degrees or radians. Now, we are establishing a relationship but that is 1 radian is equal to how many degrees or 1 uh, degree is equal to how many radians. So, from here to here, this angle is 2 pi radians, but this is also equal to 360 degrees. So, I can write it as that is 360 degrees equal to 2 pi radians or vice versa 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree. So, 1 radian is equal to 360 upon 2 pi degrees. Now, if you solve it, so 1 radian comes out approximately to be 57.29 degrees. You can make, you can remember this. Remember that 1 radian is equal to 57.29 degrees. That is, if you put the value of pi as 22 by 7, you will get this answer. So, remember that is 1 radian is equal to 57.29 degrees. This result you should remember. The other relation from here only in the simple terms what can be concluded is that is S is equal to R theta where theta is necessarily in radians. It is important. Theta is necessarily in radians. That is S is equal to R theta. Now what does it mean? Here S is the length of the arc. R is the radius and theta is the angle subtended at the center in radians. If I say that this length is equal to radius, so I say R is equal to R theta. So, theta is equal to 1 radian. Obviously, I know that. That is, if this is R, this is also R, then this angle will be 1 radian. I get it. Suppose I say S is 5R. So, 5R, I instead of S, I write it as 5R. 5R is equal to R theta. So, theta is equal to what? 5 radian. This angle will be in radian. Remember it. So, angle at the center is 5 radian. So, from here that is remember that is S is equal to R theta is the important formula and elementary formula which we shall be using in parallax method in finding large distances using parallax method. This will be used. S is equal to R theta where theta is necessarily in radians. Please remember it. Do not put theta in terms of degrees. So far, we have understood that is how do we define one radian. We have understood the relationship S is equal to R theta. Now, let us say I draw this line, straight line. You say this is a straight line. Now, in the second set, what I do is I draw this curve with a very less curvature, but the radius of curvature is huge. Radius of curvature is huge, huge. but the curvature curve is very, very small. So, if I show you only a small portion of this, you may say this is a straight line. You may say this is a straight line, but you are also, you also know that is how I drew it. This is not a straight line I drew it. This is a part of a curve. So, from here I deduce that is if the radius of curvature, that is if this radius of curvature is huge, then a small distance they are almost equal to straight lines. This concept we shall be using when we are going to find the diameter of earth or of that of sun using parallax method, this concept we should be using it. Now, at times 1 kilometer may be a big unit if we have to find the length of this marker or a small distance we have to measure. Similarly, when we have to measure angle, the 1 degree could be a big unit. So, we have smaller units also. We have degrees, we have minutes, we measure it in minute also. We can measure it in second also or arc second or arc minute. That is when I say minute, it is arc minute. When I say second, it is arc second. In 1 degree, we have 60 arc minutes and in 1 arc minute, we have 60 arc second. In 1 degree, how many arc minutes we have? We have 60 arc minutes. In 1 arc minute, how many arc seconds do we have? In 1 arc minute, we have 60 arc second, right? So, we already know that conversion between a radian and a degree. We know 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree or 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian. So, now let us look over here and this is easy stuff. 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian. So, 1 degree is equal to 2 pi by 360 is equal to this thing 1.74 into 10 to the power minus 2 radian, right? Similarly, 1 degree is also equal to 60 arc minute. 
So 60 arc minute is equal to what? 60 arc minute or 1 degree has been 1.74 in 10 to power minus 2 radian. So 1 degree is equal to 1.74 in 10 to power minus 2 radian. But 1 degree is also equal to 60 arc minute. So 60 arc minute is equal to 1.74 into 10 to power minus 2 radian. When you solve it, so 60 arc minute is equal to this much. So 1 arc minute is equal to this much. 60 comes over here in the denominator. So 1 arc minute is equal to 2.91 in 10 to power minus 4 radian. You should remember this. You can just remember it. For your convenience. Similarly, 1 arc minute is equal to 60 arc seconds. So, 60 arc seconds is equal to how many radians? 60 arc sec seconds or 1 minute. Arc minute is, had been equal to this much radian. So, 1 arc minute is equal to this much or 60 arc seconds is equal to this much radian. So, 1 arc second is equal to 4.85 in 10 to power minus 4 radian. So, from these basics, you can always move from degrees to radians and you can establish a relationship between degrees, radians, arc minutes and arc seconds very easily as you establish a relationship between kilometer, centimeter, millimeter, meter and so on. Now let us say we are interested in finding the distance between earth and sun using parallax method. We are interested in finding the distance between earth and sun using the parallax method and suppose I already know the diameter of earth, I know it, right. So, how do we find out the distance between earth and sun using parallax method when the diameter of earth is known to us using this parallax method. So, for that one thing is important to understand is if this is sun and over here there is earth. Obviously, the distance they are so huge that is either I say call this distance between earth and sun that is same thing or I call what is the distance this is the same thing and from here to here also this all almost equal to same thing. Suppose I say the distance between Delhi and Jaipur is suppose uh, 250 kilometer. So, some someone comes and he says no sir this is not 250 kilometer you are you are wrong by 5 millimeter also. So, in such a huge distance does 5 millimeter is significant? No, it is not significant. Similarly, the distance between sun and earth is so huge that these dimensions they are almost irrelevant. So, I am interested in finding from the distance from here to here or here to here or from here to this side that is one and the same thing. So, I take this as sun over here I draw as a I draw over here earth. What I do is from one side of the earth like I have an observatory over here with the help of telescope I see this sun. And then from the other side, I also focus it on sun. Using the methods, various methods and gadgets, what we have in observatories, somehow I find this angle. How do we find this angle? We are not interested, but we can find out this angle. I also know the radius of this circle. Sorry. I also know the diameter of earth. This is known to me. So, if I use, if I remember this basic formula, that is this is S, this is R, this is theta and the relationship is S is equal to R theta. Similarly, if I take this as distance as R, so obviously this is R from here to here that is also equal to R and is this a straight line? Even if this is straight line or part of a bigger circle where this length is so small, so small this length is, this diameter is so small that is either you call it a curve or call it a short straight line that is one and the same thing. So, this whole thing is, so this is going to be S, this is going to be R, this is going to be theta. So, using the relationship S is equal to R theta, what we are interested in find out? We are interested in finding out this R, S, S is what? S is diameter of R. I told you that is we, somehow we know that is what is diameter of this R. We know this, we have this value. It is 6400 kilometer, 6400 kilometer is the radius of earth. So, diameter is double of this. So, I know S, R, I do not know. This is a question mark. R, we have to find out. The distance between sun and earth, we have to find out. Theta, theta is this. Theta, you have found out. First, from this observatory, then from this observatory, you have found this angle. S is known, theta is known. So, R is going to be S theta where theta is necessarily you have to put in radian. As soon as you put the value, you find out this radius, 
that is the distance between earth and sun they can be found out. Now let me tell you once again how do we find the distance between sun and earth using parallax method when the diameter of the earth is known to us. Over here I have sun and over here let us say we draw a small diagram over here I have earth. This diameter is known taking this from this side of observatory I look at sun and from this side also observatory I look at sun and I find out this angle theta. Now the challenge is to find this r from here to here or from here to here. If I look at this diagram now what is this diagram? Taking this as radius I draw a circle, I draw a circle. Actually this radius is so huge, so huge that is from distance from here to here or distance from here to here that is almost equal to same. So, if I call this as S, this is R and this is theta. So, I know the relationship S is equal to R theta is known to me. Now, what is known? R, we have to find out. S, diameter of earth is known to us. Theta, V is known to us. So, so I can say R is equal to S by theta, where theta is necessary in radian. So, as I put the values S and theta, R could be find out. So obviously over here we remember that is either this is you call is a diameter or a very short straight line is almost the same thing. Obviously this is the approximation. This is the approximation. We get the approximate uh, distances between the earth and the sun. Now let us say I am interested in finding the diameter of sun when we have found out the distance between earth and sun we have already found out. Now we are interested in finding the diameter of sun. So, for that what we do is over here let us say we are on earth and over here there is a sun. So, from one side I observe one end of the sun and from the same using the same telescope let us say I look at the other end of the sun. I find out this theta. This r that is the distance between sun and earth has already been found out. This r has been found out. I am interested in finding this that is S. Now over here this is R, this is sun, this R we have found out in the previous example that is what we did. Using telescope or any other method we have found this angle theta. We are interested in finding this length of the arc of this arc. This is a huge radius is huge so that this straight line or arc that does not matter that is one and the same thing. So, now theta is known r is known, we are interested in finding this s. So, s is equal to r theta, r is known, theta is known, the diameter of the sun, diameter of sun can be found out using s is equal to r theta. Now, what is the difference in the two examples as far as approach is concerned? When we have to find the distance between sun and earth, when we have to find the distance between sun and earth, then what we do? Then from two sides of earth we find this angle. Whereas, if we have to find out the diameter of the sun, then from the one point only you look at the both the sides of sun and you find this theta. Over here you move, then you have to find the distance between sun and earth. Then you look from one side of the earth, then you look from the other side of the earth, you find theta and then you use S is equal to R theta. Whereas, if you find the diameter of the sun, then you look at sun from the same point on earth from one end and the other side and then you find this angle theta and once again you use s is equal to r theta. Here s has to be found out, r you have earlier found, this r had been earlier found in the previous example, r is known, s we found out, theta is known, so s is equal to r theta, using this you can find the s. Now, let us take example from the textbook. Over there, we have to find out what is given is the moon is observed from two diametrically opposite points A and B on earth. The angle theta subtended at the moon by the two directions of observation is 1 degree 54 minutes. Given diameter of earth to be about 1.27 into 10 to the power 7 meter, compute the distance of the moon from the earth. Now, in this example, moon is observed from diametrically diametrically two points, diametrically opposite points on earth 
moon is observed and this angle this also called paralytic angle is 1 degree 54 minutes and also given is this diameter of earth is also given that is s obviously this s is given as 1.27 into 10 to power 7 meter theta is given we are supposed to find out this distance between earth and moon we are supposed to find out so obviously this is if i take this as r this is r this is s this is theta which is given so if i use s is equal to r theta if i use s is equal to r theta s is known theta is known theta is known r obviously can be found out which is which is our aim in this question now what to do with 1 degree 54 minutes we intend to use this formula s is equal to r theta but in this theta has been written only what he has given he has given then the question it is given this angle has been given in degree and minutes also so one is you know that conversion between degrees minutes radian you know the conversion what you can do is one of the ways is you convert the whole thing into minutes only so this is 1 degree 54 minute is equal to what 1 degree plus 54 minutes 1 degree is what convert all the things into minute only so you can one one way is you can convert the degrees into minute and the whole this thing angle you can convert it to minutes so 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes plus 54 minutes how much 1 1 4 minutes so what i have done is you can convert 1 degree 54 minutes into 1 degree plus 54 minutes you can write it like this so 1 degree is what 60 minutes 60 minutes plus 54 minutes is 114 minutes now you know one minute is equal to so many radians we have just done it so 114 minute is equal to so many radians so i know this angle theta in terms of radians obviously in s is equal to r theta theta has to be in radian only that's why i have converted this angle that is in degree and minute into radian i have converted this now i can very safely use s equal to r theta so r we have to find out r r is equal to s by theta s is how much what is s s is diameter of earth is it given yes it is given it is given as 1.27 into 10 to the power 7 meter so i put the value theta do we know the value of theta yes it is given as 1 degree 54 minutes but we need theta in radian we have converted this this angle in terms of radian we have converted it, it comes over here when you divide you get 3.84 in 10 to the power 8 meter what is this this is the distance between moon and earth this is the answer now we have other question from your textbook which says the sun's angular diameter is measured to be 1920 what is this this is arc second 1920 arc second the distance d of the sun from earth is given 1.496 into 10 to power 11 meter what is the diameter of the sun we are supposed to find out the diameter of the sun now let's see what is given the angular diameter is measured so over here we have sun and from earth angular diameter it is given obviously the angular diameter is given in 1920 arc second so this is given theta is this is given how much is given 1920 arc second this is given theta is given the distance d of the sun from earth so obviously this is given that is d either you call this or this it is one same thing so it is given as 1.496 into 10 to power 11 meter this is given what we are supposed to find out we are supposed to find out this diameter or this straight line or this curve because the distance they are so huge that is one and same thing we are supposed to find the diameter of the sun obviously this is part of this such a big arc so if i say this is s this is r theta i intend to use s is equal to r theta s we are supposed to find out this we have called d over here so using this i say s is equal to r over here are the radius of circle which you have called d what is that 1.496 into 10 to power 11 meter now comes theta theta is given in what 1920 arc second can we use over here arc second can we use it no we cannot use it what we have to use we have to use radian so you know that is one we have just done it that is 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degrees or 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian so 1 degree is equal to 2 pi upon 360 radian 
but 1 degree is also equal to 60 minutes or arc minute and 1 arc minute is equal to 60 arc second. So, using this you can always move from degrees to minutes to seconds to radian. You can easily convert as easily as you convert between kilometer and centimeter and millimeter and meter you convert it. So, use the formula S is equal to R theta and putting the values you can easily find out this S that is diameter of sun you can easily find out.